if you have a DSLR and a macro lens, this is a real inexpensive, easy way to convert your slides into digital files. Uh, what I have here is the camera, obviously, on a wooden base, a piece of mat board, which is black on the inside, to, so you don't have a lot of reflected light. And I merely have a little place here to put the slide, and you just click away. Just drill a hole straight through the board. Most cameras take a quarter inch uh, standard coarse thread bolt. Check yours to make sure that's right. You want the bolt to just project through the board just enough to, to uh, engage the camera because you want to be able to tighten the bolt from underneath to hold the camera firmly in position. If your bolt sticks through just a little bit too far, you can put a couple of washers underneath the head of the bolt to uh, effectively shorten the the amount that projects through. This obviously is a critical dimension from the end of the lens to where you're going to mount your slide, so check that out. First, when you're making this guy, first uh, firmly attach the camera to your baseboard and then uh, get a rough approximation of where your slide holder should be. And then I put a my base on here to get the right elevation. I had some scrap lumber and a little piece of mat board. Got it up to the right elevation. And then I just hot glued these onto my baseboard. I had a little piece of aluminum channel which I used for my slide holder. And I just stuck a, a hunk of wood in here as my stop gap for the left and a piece of foam uh, double stick foam to fill in most of the gap. Uh, one adhesive edge of the foam against the inside of the aluminum. The other side of the foam I just uh, took off the release paper and put a piece of scotch tape on there to cover that up so that it's merely a case of sliding the slide into there making sure it's down firmly to the base and over to the left and you just click away and you'd be surprised at the uh, quality of the uh, file that you get. This black stuff is just merely tape to hold the end piece on. I didn't want uh, extraneous light getting into the lens of here. But, uh, my little feet are just uh, an option to hold the base up off whatever table you're putting it on because otherwise the head of the bolt sticks down there and could scratch your table. But uh, this guy does a, a really great job. Uh, I had all the materials on hand from scrap and so it didn't cost me anything. Even if, even if you had to buy everything, I doubt if it would cost more than 15 bucks. You might see in the video a couple little pieces down here, but that's merely because I found that I needed to adjust the elevation of my camera slightly to make sure that I got the full image on the slide. I was, I was a little bit low in the back here. So that's it. Very simple. Does a great job. If you're going to do, you're probably not going to do thousands of slide conversions to digital files this way, but uh, you know, if you got a couple hundred, this does a job. I just sit down with this guy, point it out right close to the window, point it out, I set the white balance on my camera to whatever my sky conditions are outside. I have found a little bit surprisingly that you have to watch the clouds. So if you have a real high contrast, light and dark clouds, someday it will not work well. But if you got a fairly uniform sky out there, uh, this, this guy uh, will do a, a good job of giving you some digital files from your old slides. Here is a close-up of the slide holder. When you're making your digital files this way, I suggest you set your uh, DSLR so the white balance is fixed based on the sky conditions you have outside your window when you're doing this. Also, use your lowest ISO setting 
and uh, probably go to aperture priority set it, setting it at uh, probably 6.3 you certainly don't need the depth of field uh, at a very small aperture and using opening the aperture up a little bit will uh, eliminate some diffraction and probably give you the sharpest image but you, you can experiment on that but uh, 6.3 works well for me